Sit on love with you and a good evening to you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on the Maloko show. And I've got the one, the only ring down. Welcome, my brother man. Yes, I'm privileged. I'm feeling blessed to be here today. The brother man no longer has extremely short hair. He's uh, now grown his hair for Katikati. He's got that Katombo he cut with some gel. Uh, <laughs> Julian the Saloon Nini. <laughs> Welcome to the my local show, my brother man. Man, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to be in the house now. Yeah, and yes. you know, there's always that one question everyone asks you. I mean, when I say I'm having ring turn over, everyone has a million and one questions. I mean, it's like you have 1,001 people who want to know a lot about you. But one of the ones that came up over and over again was, where do you get your money from, Ba? Um, as in, see, I'm, I'm just blessed, my friend. <laughs> and actually, who said I have money? You know, let me tell you, uh -huh. money, uh, uh, there's no plural or singular. Uh -huh. Money is money. So even if right now I have 10 bob in my pocket, yes. man, my friend, that is money. <laughs> so I, uh, the little money that I have, yes. if it's 10 shillings or 100 bob, man, I, I give the glory to God because he provides. Uh -huh. And yes. so if we're to talk, how much has God provided for you? In that, how much are you worth? <laughs> Uh, I, I I don't think what I, I don't know what I'm worth. You I don't think, know. I think what we should do. Uh -huh. I I think my uh, my fans they should uh, propose <laughs> a company that should audit me and they invite me again. I come give the results. <laughs> there was a time some time back you were talking about how you were feeling that Kenyan women were gold diggers. Be and I mean, I, the other was like, look at you. You should see how he's looking at me. His <laughs> like, is about to jump on me. He's like, you know what? <laughs> no, there was a time you did say that. Uh, what made you say that? Because I mean, I, I we have dated a couple of care women, like one or two, and I, I would like to hear where you were coming from. Um, I, I don't think I ever said that Kenyan women are gold diggers, and uh, if I think, I may have said Kenyan men are gold diggers. <laughs> <Kenyan women. laughs> Look at him changing his script. <laughs> Una change wimbo sasa. <laughs> Actually, Kenyan men are gold diggers. Uh, why why and, would and you say so? And, and Kenyan women are the nicest people in the world. Uh, why the would world. you say that men are gold diggers? Yeah? Why would you say because that? Because I'm Kenyan? a man. <laughs> <laughs> so how much gold are you digging since you're saying Kenyan yeah, men? Are... You know, let me tell you, we men, uh -huh. men, we are passionate. We dig for gold where there is no gold. <laughs> so, we, you know, Kenyan men are industrious. <laughs> they dig gold even if we don't have gold. You know what, I'm going to be I'm going to be back with Rick Joe. Whatever questions you may have, hit us up with them. And he, of course, he's going to be here to premiere his brand new track, which we're going to be tearing up down in a little while. But first up, here's my Maloko Ligindogo jam coming through. It's called Tender Web. I'm coming through for you from Rick John featuring Christina Shusho. Sema Macho Papa video. Yeah, on your number one music station, Kiss FM, cheer on love with you on the Maloko show. And I'm hanging out with the one, the only ringtone. And I'm just trying to catch up with him. You know, see how a brother man is doing what he's been up to. And I mean, right after this song got out, it's like you go fire. Uh, like the song took out like this uh, two three weeks later it's like you were uh, someone just put a light on you <laughs> and they lit you on fire how did you handle the sexual harassment accusations that were going on about you you know let me tell you as a man of god you know me, me i'm not just a musician yes me i'm a minister yes so um and uh, as a minister uh, i was struck the like an army of christ yes um when you are doing something good mm. Uh, to me, I think the devil did not expect me to come back mm. because um, after the politics, uh, I was told that uh, there is no artist who has ever gone into politics and come back and sang. Yes, yeah, I was told there is KJ who was an, uh, a comedian. He went. Mm. He never. I was. I was given names, mm. and I was told, "Who are you to ever think you will go contest, come back and still be a musician?" Mm. And you know what I said? I said. I am a kid of destiny. I'm a child of destiny. Mm -hmm. The way I was born is not the same way the others were born. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'll go into politics, I'll contest. If I win, yes. If I don't if I don't win, I'll come back because I was created to be a musician and a minister. I will still minister and I'll still touch people. So uh but things were not easy. Mm -hmm. Things were tough. Then um I got like um I was doing so many things that I, I don't advertise that I've done good things. Mm -hmm. Uh, and this, the, the devil was very busy uh, trying to malign me, mm -hmm. to make me look arrogant, to make me look uh, evil, to make me look the worst person you can ever meet on the world. Mm -hmm. But in the real sense, I was, um, I've been, uh, like Tendawema, the first verse when I was saying, Mayatimu Mesomesha, 
I, I was writing my, uh, uh, the song for me, mm -hmm. but in reverse. Mm -hmm. So my team of Mesomesha, which is a, which I've done, given all your clothes. There's a time I, g I even gave all my clothes. I've done so many things, but I was not being congratulated or being told, oh, yeah, you're doing good, do more. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I got to a point where I was giving up and I wrote on my, my social media, like I'm quitting music. Mm -hmm. I thought I could serve God in other things, not through singing. Mm -hmm. Then here, Christina Shusho uh, looks for me and she tells me, the day I came to Kenya, Pamela was the big song and it really blessed me. So she was telling me, please don't quit and let's do something. So then here we do this song. This song, the, when we were recording the following day, I went and looked for the shirt that I had worn when I was shooting Pamela. Mm -hmm. Then I looked for that shirt and I went on my bed. I slept facing the wall. Uh, just like in the Bible, there's a, uh, somebody called Ezekiel whose time was over and I wanted more time. So he had to tell God, you have to add me time by force. Mm -hmm. So then God co co cooperated. That was in Ezekiel. That was, um, uh, well, not Nebuchadnezzar, I'm forgetting his name. It wasn't Ezekiel. <laughs> Ezekiel was the prophet who went to him okay. to tell him. Yes. In fact, now that we've known that we miss a how Biblia Yako, yeah. let me play <laughs> some Nobody Ugly by Peace Square and we'll come back with Ringtone. <laughs> And I'm hanging out with Ringtone And it's just here about a place His brand new record that is to, uh, featuring Gloria Muliro But before we get into that I was listening to your song uh, What are you in? With uh, Gloria Muliro yep. And uh, when well, there's a part where you say Hui Mungu anakupenda sana And it reminded me of uh, What's this verse? Matthew 5 verse 44 Which speaks of praying and loving your enemy Is this what was going through your mind When you were writing this part of the song? <laughs> First of all, I'm shocked to read John that I know your Bible verse is like, what's not happening? <laughs> Number one, Ulianza kwa kunichamea. Na sasa unataka kuendelea kwa kuhubiri. Mimi sasa nakaa mingi usijui sawa. Ni sawa bro, ni sawa. Hapo umescore. No, it's the love. I actually love this song of yours. So I, I, I'm, I'm one of those people who whenever I invite an artist over, mm -hmm. it's nice. I like to listen to the song you're coming to drop mm -hmm. to understand what was going on in your mind when you were doing the song. So is, were you really, were you, when you were talking about Hui Mungu anakupenda sana, were you thinking about the fact that all these things have been happening to you, your enemies keep getting up against you and you decided, you know what, let me put it in a song as I'm praying to God or was it just a line just to tell somebody that God loves you? No, it basically it was... Um uh, like when I was going through for me mm -hmm. uh, when I was going through all these things yes. I was praying I was crying to God mm -hmm. and I asked God please answer and it's like God doesn't answer mm -hmm. so it got to a point where you you feel like maybe God has forgotten mm -hmm. but then I remembered our story Ilea Joseph Akiuzwa yes. Yes. Zake. Yes. I could imagine wakati anauzwa Mm. He was definitely recording the name of his father, mother, his brothers, even telling God, why are you forsaken me? I'm yes. being taken to an, an enemy country called Egypt. Yes. But then God didn't answer. But when he got to Egypt, he became the prime minister. Mm -hmm. So that means God probably had a bigger plan in the bad plan yes. that the brothers had. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, for me, when I went all through this, it was not easy. Mm -hmm. Then I was reminded uh, by my friends, Shusho and the others, that uh, in whatever you're going through, mm -hmm. God is refining you mm -hmm. to make you a better artist, yes. to make you a better person, and to make you a greater, a greater person will be of, of greater importance to the youth. Yes. So then, that's where this th song came up. Like, watch you even you mungu anataka iwe. Don't change the plan of God. Be even if you are suffering, uh, wipe your tears. Don't change the plan of God. Maybe God wants to use you later to inspire those who are going through the same thing you're going through. Yes. And yeah. I think one of the things I think I love about your music is that you usually have a very deep message in it. When somebody listens to it, mm. if you're just listening on the surface, mm. you'll pass by. But one of the things that caught my ear about this song was I was wondering, why Gloria Muliro? Why not size 8? Why not Kambua? Why Gloria Muliro? Um, my, my, my brother does a very hard question. <laughs> <person. laughs> uh, I can't answer that, uh -huh. but um, and who okay, then who approached who for this song? Are you the one who reached out to her? Yes, actually, I'm the one who approached Gloria. Mm -hmm. I told Gloria we need to do something together. Yes, um, and, and it's I, actually very interesting that you guys both came together and you've both had very interesting. 
lives if i could put it that way so i guess <laughs> as you said it was god's plan and in your second verse you say mm. nafika mwisho there's a part where you say that w- those words nafika mwisho so was this song born in a place of exhaustion and tiredness were you going through something tough or was rington getting depressed um to get depressed is only human mm. but to stay in the state of depressedness mm. and not to look unto god uh, to know that uh, he can rescue you from anything that makes the difference so uh, you were going through depression me, uh, as now uh, i am tough i am tough i've been through fire you have not answered my question <laughs> Richard. were you going through depression <laughs> not you know maybe probably you could say there are stages yeah so there's mild could... there's mild so you're going through mild mm, depression no 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 no, no, no the, the, the 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 list <laughs> you are going because me i know god because me i know god uh-huh. Uh, f- when I know, when you know God, even if it's the, the situation is very hard and yes. tough and rough, you you encourage yourself with the Word of God. Yes. Yeah. So uh, it it wasn't easy, mm-hmm. but I won't tell you for some uh, one thing for a fact. Mm. Um, watch this space. Uh, uh, this is gonna be a great uh, period going forward. Yes. Because I'm going. Um, I've said I'm going to release the best videos. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to to do these shoddy videos. Mm-hmm. The best videos, and I'm going to write the <coughs> best word of God from the Bible. Yes. Sita, 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 uh, the, uh, my songs going forward. Sita changanya. Mi Mr. Sema jig jig na ipatikani kwa Bible. I'm sorry. Did you just throw shade at Willie Paul? Yeah. Did you just throw shade at Willie Paul? You know what? No, 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 I Here just is a it. brand new one from Ringtone and Gloria Muliro. It is called Watch a Yue. This brother man just threw shade at Willie Paul. You know what? We'll no, no, get no, no, back no. to that. Cheaton <laughs> Globe. I am hanging out with Ringtone. Who just a few minutes ago was like, we miss it and dig a we more gaba jiggy jiggy. Yeah, and, and I'm going to clarify. Okay? And I can clarify. Let me tell you, bro. Uh, the thing is, uh, uh, the question should be: Do you, do you hate Will Paul or not? I don't hate Will Paul. Of I, course, I know you okay. don't hate. Will I love Will Paul. No, wait, 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 wait. Of course, I know you don't hate Will Paul. No, my Will thing Paul. is, you said something about his song "Jiggy Jiggy." Okay. So, what are your thoughts on the song "Jiggy Jiggy"? Not on Will Paul. Will Paul okay. aside, he's done a song "Jiggy Jiggy," yeah. and you said "Mimi sita and dika kama Jiggy Jiggy." Yenye hawezi pata kwa Biblia. Yes. Those are your exact words, quote and quote. Yeah, uh, okay. We have to replace That's that. Part. Now, listen. <laughs> the thing is, uh, for me, uh, Will Paul has a lot of songs. The Kunazinema songs that Will Paul in Appenda. Kama ilo alimba na Gloria Mliro. That was my best song. Ata ili kwenye ni bless sana. Na zingine. Kada. Sakin says, if you ask me uh, to rate, which is Will Paul's worst song mm-hmm. you've had? Mm-hmm. Me, I'll say this one. <laughs> But in this song, he's talking about marriage. He's talking so, about that you need God. In fact, at the beginning of the song, he says, Weka mugu katia ndoa. Okay, for me, eh, naeza sema, ana, sasa anazoaya basi. Kwa sababu, wakati ya liimba hile ngine, na ule demu wa Jamaica, mm-hmm. tulisema, okay. Sasa tena ingine, sasa atuwezi kuwa tunaimba tu around, eh, around uh, a demu. Na sisi ni gospel artist. But there is songs of Solomon in the Bible, which, and I quote, in that in that Bible, in okay. that verse of the Bible, mm. rather in that book of the Bible, okay. there is even a part where King Solomon talks about a woman's succulent breast. Okay. <laughs> now, I will say, when Jesus left... I, I love Rick okay, makes bro, me very happy. When Jesus left, going to heaven, what did he do? Uh-huh. He told us, he left us here on this world to mm-hmm. do one thing, to win souls. Mm-hmm and spread the gospel mm-hmm. so the gospel is not about how about the breasts mm-hmm. and about the hips mm-hmm. about those things so me i'll just say that uh, we have one job as gospel artist uh, to make what Jesus about known. if somebody meets christ through this song what makes you so sure nobody will meet christ through that song okay actually i'm not sure uh-huh. i'm only human i only gave my opinion <laughs> as a human being <laughs> So I don't want to be short. In fact, I, now that we're even talking about love, mm. there's a point you were saying that you want to marry Ray C. Are you still up on that tip? Did you did you send in your application? Because there's a time she was looking for guys to. She was like, if you're in love with her, just send in her application. Did you send in yours? No, 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 no. Well, me, I never said I want to marry Ray C. Uh-huh. This is what I said. And you see, you guys of the media, sometimes you misquote. Ah, I am saying simply what I saw on your okay. post. That's okay. What I'm okay. My post didn't read that. Uh-huh. This is what my post read. Uh-huh. Uh, there's somebody who said Ray C has gotten saved, mm-hmm. and for me, I asked, I, I wrote on my Instagram, and I said, anybody who has Ray C's number, please send me mm-hmm. because I hear she has gotten saved. So, were you interested in wifing her since now she was saved? You see, the media uh, he spoke on my behalf, and they didn't <laughs> ask me. 
So, no, so you... the number that I wanted, I wanted to be praying with her. <laughs> <laughs> not a prayer partner wa Bahati. Please. Please, not that one. <laughs> Dude, you killed me. And I'm hanging out with the one, the only ringtone minister of the Lord, as well as gospel artists, who's just throwing shade at other artists. Uh, nice. But you know what? We'll uh, get uh, back into that uh, one. <laughs> we'll get back into it. Because on uh, that was, I think, on November 29th, 2016, mm. you put up a post on your Instagram <laughs> accusing <laughs> Willie Paul Safi and ringtone of wanting to, to finish you. To finish your career in fact your exact words were mm-hmm. apparently i'm informed they conspired to create and publicize a pregnancy scandal for me mm-hmm. to ruin my reputation and my career in that post you go on to say that you got an investigative team that showed you that these that that's what these people were trying to do now that you are here me i like me i don't uh, speculate i love to ask the person himself that was your post right do you confirm that was your post on the 29th of november 2016 that was my post, yes. So then, when you say when you were coming to talk about all this, mm. what was the evidence that was given to you to show that Willie Paul and Pitson were trying to ruin your career and your reputation? Um, I, I, okay, I, I must start by saying uh, what I did to post like that was wrong. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have done that. But I ringtone think, is apologizing. No, but I, <laughs> you know, I have to start. I'm a Christian. Uh-huh. I'm a man of God. Yes. You know? Uh, but I'm only human. Mm-hmm. I want to start by apologizing that I shouldn't have written, uh, even if it's true, mm-hmm. I should have let it to God mm-hmm. to be the way God wants it to be. Yes. So that's why I realize if it mingi kama hizo ni act out of, uh, uh, you know, out of my flesh, mm-hmm. not, I didn't, uh, I act spiritually. Mm-hmm. So that's why nime tuangoma sahi na sema tu wacha ikue venye mungu anataka ikue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So for yourself, so if it kama hizo unachia tu mungu. Yeah. Yes. You just let them be. And so there was this scandal of the girl who was saying that she impregnated her mm-hmm. and then you were telling her to take, get an abortion. In fact, she was interviewed by a blog mm-hmm. and she said that she was, ne- you had said you didn't know her mm. she said that she was in a relationship with you mm. and so what are your comments about that uh, th- that was uh, with that girl i didn't know her mm-hmm. and there was no evidence of a communication of uh, me and her mm-hmm. uh, she was just somebody who had been sent trying uh, been sent by my enemies uh, to ruin because my song was doing very well mm-hmm. uh, and I think they felt that I was taking their space mm-hmm. you know they forgot that this space we were there before them yes so they thought that uh, the space was for them mm-hmm. nobody should uh, we shouldn't do a comeback because actually they even had uh, groups that created wanajita to wasasa mm-hmm. walikuwa nasema sisi ni wakale mm-hmm. sasa mimi jimmy gate the do win mm-hmm. I, and uh, you know our sani wengi wanasema sisi ni wakale awataki but there's something I'm, I'm beginning to get a sense of and mm. it's like i feel like right now what's happening is that whenever somebody a gospel artist make a mistake mm. they blame it on two things either mm. the devil mm. or their enemies mm. when i feel sometimes as a mis- i know as a human being you can make a mistake and mm. sometimes maybe you made a bad call and yes even david uh fell mm. in the bible no 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 it didn't happen why listen, are you why listen. would you want to blame it back no, on the devil and no, enemies no listen if it was true mm. i'm one i'm one man who could chew the bullet and say me it may happen na mimi si mtu wa kwanza duniani kufanya hivyo lakini for this one it was mal- malice mm. total malice ni kitu nilifanya nikalia nikaumia nika hurt at na Mungu akanitoa so singetaka hata ku, ku revisit your issue because Mungu alifanya hiyo maji kapita kwa hiyo bridge mm. na Mungu akanipeleka safely on the other side mm. so uh, ingekuwa ni ukweli mm. mimi my friend ningesema so then, let me ask you then since yes. we are speaking in an honest format and you say this is video watu wamefanya even before the world started mm. so as a gospel artist mm. have you have you fallen let me let me put it in the biblical terms you'd understand yes have you fallen short of the glory of god by laying with a woman outside marriage uh what i could say <laughs> 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 let me play you some dogo dogo by david Ward and bahati and we'll be back a fabulous evening i'm hanging out with mr ringtone himself he just dropped his brand new record called watcha iwe by gloria Muliro and here and of course i'm going to be blazing it up for you once again but then there was a, an eviction letter that i came to contact with. Huh? 
Yes, then if you like later. Like, like, ni clear vizuri, like, I'm back to you. No, no, no. See, we're gonna... When we went on, <laughs> uh, off air, we were talking about... So, so have you laid with a woman outside marriage <laughs> what I mean, as a gospel artist? artist. <laughs> it's not a gumbo on a jua, unalenga tu. See, like, it's because I'm like, you know what? What you clarify? Uh-huh. Eh, kwanza iyo, u, u, nianzi, eh, kabla ni kujibu hiyo uh-huh. nilusu niende line moja nyuma uh-huh. huyo msichano nukua nasema mwenye alikuwa na alleged uh-huh. we see mungu ni mzuri there uh-huh. came a guy wakati hiyo story nitokea kwa midi kakua yeah, family remember, first yeah remember there is a makanga who is, came out to say that that was his child uh, buda kumbe uli kuwa najua na unajua na nichomea tu i know that point tu. but na it's not chomea chomea tu, the thing is that's what he said okay. but what do you say you see uh, so, there's a huge difference mm, it's so, not about him it's now about you no that girl the the boyfriend the makanga guy came out mm-hmm. and uh, acknowledged that yo mimba ni yake mm-hmm. please i don't want to be associated with it <laughs> now coming to the question you've just asked yes have you laid with a woman outside marriage as a gospel artist so i will answer by saying the bible says mm-hmm. for all have sinned and fallen short of the, the glory, glory of, of god, god. Mm-hmm. yes pastor chita yes. <laughs> <laughs> now if any so have man you fallen short yeah, of the listen, glory of god if any man <laughs> dares to say he is not a sinner <laughs> then he makes uh, god a liar so as rington have you laid with a woman outside marriage by falling short of the glory of god uh, previously before i got <laughs> saved before i got saved you know i was not born saved <laughs> my brother i was not born saved nobody is born saved yeah so before uh-huh. and up to the time uh-huh. that i got saved uh-huh. and when i was learning what it means to be saved uh-huh. i did many sins but God forgive me. Uh-huh. Yes. So meaning that was so as a, so meaning when so you got the, saved. That, that question is done. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, you still left with open blanks because yes. you're saying so when you got saved, you still you had a challenge with it. It is one of yes, the things you are uh, yes, having a yes. difficulty with. Yes. So because right I was now, like, I was a, like a child because the Apostle Paul says when, when you are a young child, Christian. I thought as a child, yes. I acted like a child. Yes. Now that I'm a grown up, I yes. put away all childish Amen. ways. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, yes. Amen. <laughs> I know the Bible, my friend. I, so <laughs> you, you know the Bible, yes. I've seen. <laughs> so that eviction notice that I came into contact with mm. uh, from Karen. Mm. Uh, they were saying that you had been evicted from your current home because you hadn't uh, met your re- your rent obligation. Um, of how much? Um, the rent was amounting to was it two hundred thousand? Uh, that is per month, or that was per month. The, I, the house that you were staying in in Karen. I was paying two hundred thousand shillings per month. Uh-huh. Glory to God. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, in Tanzania, Kusema. Uh-huh. All those people who live in town. Uh-huh. Akuna mpu ambaye hajai kuwa na constraints ya kuri rent. Uh-huh. Okay, so are you admitting that you did have a common no. constraint of paying rent? I will start by say by by accepting uh-huh. that even the fans and the people who are listening right now, mm-hmm. many of them you have had challenges of rent. Mm-hmm. So it would not be a, a, something that is out of this world mm-hmm. for a Kenyan, for a young man, for a young man who is a hustler who lives in the city to be evicted from a house. Mm-hmm. That is not a big deal. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, now coming to my story. Uh, these are some of those things I was telling you that the devil, as smart as he was and he is mm-hmm. with his evil ways, these are some of the things that he was putting all together. Some small things that are not true mm-hmm. that were giving you uh, were being given a lot of publicity. So, me, I don't stay in a rented house mm-hmm. to answer you. Mm-hmm. Me, I thank God that I'm blessed. Mm-hmm. I live in my own house mm-hmm. uh, for many years. Now, for a couple of years, mm. I have not paid rent. Mm. Yeah. So that's amazing. But I still am wondering why are we constantly blaming the devil? We are blaming. Why the can't we also admit that sometimes, as human beings, we make mistakes and there are consequences for our actions? <laughs> we are constantly saying the. De- if I've heard, you know, I'm paying attention to what you are saying. You keep saying the devil. Yes. I feel like to some point the devil is like, "Hey, Baba." no the devil Uh all the wrong things that happen the choreographer the father and the mother of all the evil plans and evil things in this world Mm. all the evil the root of all evil started with the devil Mm. so there is nothing evil that cannot be of the devil so everything mm. wrong, everything bad, everything pains, paining us, everything making making us cry, suffer is from the devil. So not you're from saying the God. all these things that happen to you are because the devil. The is devil to is against me because I'm doing the right thing for the glory of God, my friend. You've not seen that. <laughs> You heard it for yourself. Rington has said it. The devil is the reason for everything that's around him. Yes. Watch are you by Rington and Gloria Muliro.